Transitions are often used to go from one visual to another. Camtasia 2021 has over 120 transitions for you to use. Most of the time, I prefer a simple cut or a slide when going from one visual to another, but there are several professional transitions that you can use. It doesn't make sense for me to show you all the different transitions, so instead I'll recommend that you look for yourself. Just use your mouse cursor to move from left to right over the transition thumbnail. This gives you a small preview of what the transition does. Once you've found a few that you like, you can right-click the transition and add it to your favorites. You can also filter the list of transitions by using the drop-down menu at the top. Camtasia provides eight different groups of transitions. If you find a group that you like, then maybe you spend more time in that group rather than taking time in a style that you don't like. Three more quick things on transitions. First, my good friend Lon Naylor made a video about using some specific transitions to animate text. It's a great idea that many of us wouldn't have even tried. So try using transitions to animate your text and check out Lon's YouTube channel if you haven't already. Second, you can disable transitions. Maybe you were working with a clip, you applied a transition, but then you needed to edit that clip without the transition being applied. For example, you might be using the whip spin transition and you need to see the clip without the transition. You can now right click a transition and choose disable selected transitions. Or on the Mac, you can click the toggle switch in the properties panel. After you've made your changes, you can right click the transition again to enable it. And third, many transitions can be reversed. If you want a transition to work in reverse, you can click the reverse checkbox in the properties panel, or you can find the option when right-clicking the transition. 